I'm so excited. Today we're going to be doing a project inspired by the Zapotec people of Oaxaca in Mexico. So they are known for making art that is colorful animal carvings out of wood. And sometimes animals are realistic, sometimes they're kind of magical and they have like special characteristics you wouldn't see in real life. So today can be really, really fun. You can choose a real animal. You can design or create your own animal. It's totally up to you. By the end of the project, you will have this a fun cardboard animal, whatever one you choose. I chose an armadillo today. And we're gonna cover it with foil so it's super shiny. And then fill the foil in with lots of colorful line designs and patterns. So in the end, you have a fun, shiny, designed animal. It could be real or it could be imaginary. It's totally up to you. I'm ready to get started. Let's go. For today's project, you're gonna want a piece of cardboard. I am just using a front of a cereal box. I'm going to use a pencil. You're gonna need some scissors and any kind of glue you have, liquid or a glue stick is fine. You're gonna want foil. And then you will also need Sharpie markers for this project. So you can find any kind of colors you want, but regular markers, the Crayola will not work on foil. You'll have to have, make sure you have the Sharpie markers for this. To start today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an armadillo. You can choose any animal that you want to. It is totally up to you. It's just this is the animal that I decided to choose today. Kind of a Texas theme. Um, so, and this armadillos are kind of fun and simple and they're really fun to design later on with color. So I'm going to make the body of my armadillo right in the middle of my cardboard. And to me, the armadillo body kind of reminds me of a bean shape. So I'm gonna start by making, make sure I leave enough space for a head and a tail, but right in the middle, I'm gonna make a big sad face curve. But it doesn't matter what this looks like because it's gonna be covered with foil. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly how you hoped it to. You can always erase it, you can cut that part off, it's no big deal. Then I'm gonna make the bottom of the body by making sad, a happy face, a sad face, and a happy face. So I might even start in the middle with kind of like a sad face and then connect with happy faces. So now it looks kind of like a bean shape. So I have my armadillo body. Now I'm gonna add the armadillo head over here on the side. Kind of reminds me of an ice cream cone shape. So I am going to make kind of the back of the head. I'm gonna make sure it connects Fully. I don't want to have that make sure it doesn't fall off when I cut it. And then I'm going to make it come down to like a pointy triangle that points sideways. Maybe it's a curve. Right here. And then I add some kind of overly pointy ears. You can make it curvier if you want. Remember, no one will see this part. It's going to be covered with foil. Just for reference, just so I remember where things are, I'm gonna make sure, like, later on I'm gonna add a smile, I think. And I'll, like, the eye will be right about here for my armadillo little nose. So we kinda got the idea of armadillo head, body. I'm gonna make a tail, a smiley face, another smiley face, kinda comes to a point. And then I'm gonna make a leg in the front, two lines, a leg in the back, two lines, then I might add some pointy little toes. I don't want to add too many details because I have to cut all of this out. If you want to add four legs, you can have two and two. I think today I'm just going to do one in the front and one in the back. And like the other ones are hiding kind of because I want to keep it super simple. When you are done making the outline of your animal, remember you don't have to have any details, you can then get your scissors and very carefully cut it out. out 
out lots of little details. Even the little feet here, I left flat across the bottom. I wanna draw the toes in. If you try to wrap foil around teeny tiny details, it gets really tricky. Um, so I'm gonna try to, even the ears are gonna be kind of hard, but I'm gonna leave it just like this so it doesn't get too complicated. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make my cardboard covered in foil. To do that, I'm going to take my glue stick and I am going to, as evenly as I can, if you have a liquid glue, do the same thing with your, you have to use your finger. I'm gonna cover the whole surface of the cardboard with a nice layer of glue. Don't forget the little pieces too, so the foil sticks to everything. Okay, now that it's finished, I am going to take my foil. Usually foil has a duller side and a shinier side. I want the shiny side up. I'm going to stick it right on my armadillo. And I am going to very gently use the soft part of my fingers to stick it to the glue. Now, if you wanted to make more texture, you could have added yarn to your animal or something else underneath it to add more layers. Even little pieces of cardboard, you can cut out little pieces and glue them on first before you do the foil, and it gives it more relief. I'm just doing this with one layer today. Then I'm going to turn it over. I've turned my foil over so I can see the cardboard, and now it's really stuck on the foil now. And now I need to trim off the extra foil. I don't want to get too close to the cardboard. So you don't have to make a line, but I'm gonna just kind of make a Sharpie line around so I can kind of know that I don't wanna to get too close to my cardboard when I'm cutting. I'm just gonna to try to follow that line. On some of these places that are really small, I'll be really careful. I'm gonna cut the foil so it can fold just a little bit. That's gonna be really, really tight. In some places, you might have to make little trims so that the foil can fold all the way. So I'm gonna take very gently, I'm gonna fold it and just wrap it around the whole. Some of it might tear a little bit, that's okay. Pull it all the way close to the cardboard as you go around. So you can see that will make the outside shape smooth. surface. Now if you use like a ballpoint pen or even a toothpick you can go in and kind of carve into the foil. Today I'm just going to use Sharpie to add color to my armadillo but you can see it's going to be super shiny. It reflects in the light like a mirror. Now the rest is up to you. You can go online and look for different design ideas for your animal, you can use line designs, colorful, you can make a rainbow, but you, can, you can do it however you want to. I am just going to have lots of fun bright colors, and I'm gonna make my armadillo as colorful and 
full of line designs as possible. I'm gonna start by making the details on my armadillo. So I wanna give my armadillo like an eye. So if you made an animal, you probably wanna add maybe some eyes. And I'm gonna give it like a little nose. And my armadillo is happy, so I'm gonna give him a little smile. And then from there, it's gonna have fun. Thanks so much for joining me making your own Oaxacan inspired animal art today. I hope you had fun. I hope yours is super colorful, full of lots of patterns, nice and shiny. Don't forget to share on Instagram and Facebook with me. I'd love to see your work. And until next time, keep creating. Mm -hmm.